a walkthrough on how to unlock the Ritualist archetype and the Zealot armor set. There are timestamps down below, so skip wherever you want. It don't matter to me. But I want to give you guys a glimpse of it, even if you're a new player. Now, your first time doing the Awakened King DLC, it will be a one-shot and static, showing you pretty much all brand new content. Once you beat it, though, I believe it's going to go back to Remnant 2's, you know, old antics where everything's kind of procedurally generated and a little bit different each time you do it. So you can min-max your first time if you want, or you can just go in blind. Your choice. In this case, I'm showing you the fastest route to the first main objective door, the square ones. And that's just running past all these nerds. These dudes won't attack you a second time through. And uh, spoiler alert, the guy up there does a really long speech. Wait the entire time and talk to him when it's done. He'll give you a status effect ring. It's pretty decent. It's better than most of the things I've gotten in the DLC so far. Now climb this ladder and you're basically home free. Because that little freaking glowy yellow stuff is the uh, next phase place. Now your first time doing this, you'll be facing a completely new boss to you and to everyone. But I've already beaten it, so I'm in the freaking great sewers. Hoorah. This is the second ability for the Ritualist, and it is freaking fire, son. If you put on maximum AoE, like the trait, it goes so far. And this is a, uh, I wouldn't say it's a complete status effect that I'm working on, but it's close to it. And it's nothing too crazy, but I've been enjoying it a lot. And it does decent single target damage as well, as far as I can tell. This is on easy mode. I played the game my first time on Apocalyptic, like uh, the new DLC. Wouldn't suggest it. You get one shot by quite literally everything, and some moves don't really feel the fairest on Apocalyptic, but hey, you do you. So this is not even having full damage because I missed like three status effects. But anywho, this is where most folks can follow along from if you're skipping to. I'm in the Drowned Win. From here, you run straight forward pretty much, and you go towards the piggies. Your first time killing them on a new playthrough in this mode, or your first time, you will get a purple ring that's not very good, but it's loot. Oh my god. I think I reset here low-key because I couldn't, I couldn't aim at that guy. Oh my god, I reset. That's hilarious. Okay, we're... <laughs> I'm so picky on recordings, it's nuts. Anyway... Go ahead and go to the piggies as if it's your first time watching this. And then take a right at the well. And when this thing hits a freaking stat spec proc, it AoEs thanks to an amulet. Which is nice. Now down the well, there'll be a bunch of pretty nasty mobs that you want to make sure you have cooldowns for to kill or whatever you can do to make them die fast. And to your left is a bunch of monkeys. Like literal apes. But the moment you enter the well, just go straight forward and just take your last left. I'm just clearing ads for the reason. So this is my last left. Go all the way up and forward. And soon we'll unlock a little checkpoint. So if you want, you can just keep running here. But make sure you don't run past the shotgun guys because if they hit you, you're dead. Even on this difficulty, I get one shot. Wearing like light armor, I guess. 90 armor, I get one shot. So this is a small little checkpoint. And then from here, we're very close to the armor set. Go up this bridge. And at the end of it, there's going to be a elite of sorts. And the music will start playing like crazy. Like, oh my god, you're in danger. Go ahead and pop your freaking thing if you have it. I pop your buff right here. Because we're basically going to kill this thing. And we're home free from here for the most part. We can outrun everything else. Even without having too much movement speed. And stam regen. But the main thing here is going on the boats. There's multiple ways to get to this point. As you can see, there's multiple boats leading to this. But I believe it's the fastest that I've seen. And just follow the, the path. And you're looking for a hole in the wall with like a little like, lantern. Right there. I've seen as such. And this is the Witch's Den. She's performing a pretty sketchy spell on Piglet from Charlotte's Web. We gotta try and save little bro. And just kidding, he's dead. Sorry. Now once you loot up, you're looking for the, uh, what's it called? Pick it up real quick. The Ragged Poppet. It's a lot more simpler than getting a summoner one, that's for sure. Must be a blood moon, and you need like 30 wisps, ooh. That's spooky. They don't like. It was that simple? The Cursed Effigy. An ordinary straw toy has been twisted into something sinister. Looks like Plankton. Plankton's wife, if she were 
wore a certain headdress. Master of the Dark Arts. Oh, I'm finna master something, all right. If you're trying to unlock the Zealot's armor, I suggest doing it on your one-shot attempt, your first try, because it could mix up where things are and make it a bit more difficult, but in this case, I'm in the Palace of One True King, chilling. Which me... Is that freaking Kratos, bro? What? What is that? Yeah. Sir, that's a nightmare. There's another mob in this game that is the hardest boss, R none. Was taking my lunch money something fierce. I was funding his freaking anger issue management forces. You're one. Thank you. If he would have killed me right here, it wouldn't be a big deal because of that reset crystal right there. But I was still been really mad. Because it's been a rough day, dude. Apocalyptic on this DLC has been zero joke. I'll tell you what. And I would have just done like a full on, you know, run through on normal. But uh, getting back here takes a while. So just bear with me, okay? Yelling boy at you? That's what I'm saying. Woo! Yeah, that guy came out of nowhere too. That's not... Is that like one of the new ones? I think it is. Toxic. You just... I think they increased the spawn rate of the newer... Arbalists? Nerds? Not Arbalists. Aberrations. Those things. Because this one drops a pretty sick item. It looks cool at least. They nerfed it, by the way. They nerfed malevolence. Yeah, I haven't read the patch notes quite yet, but I do feel a bunch of nerfs in my heart of hearts. So this is me using Ritualist at like level 2. And I need to get level 10, because once that happens, it is over, bruvs. The damage finna be insane. Okay, I swear to God, my aim isn't bad. It's just this game is rough. I can't dial my senses. Dude, I am actually mowing that kid with Overload. Overload is... Yo, Maelstrom? I know, I know a friend named Mel Meltroff. Meltroff. Please be for not melee weapons. Let's go. Increase weapons. Elemental damage by 5% for each unique elemental status effect on the target. Level 10. Increase mod power generation of elemental damage and elemental status damage by... It's okay. I think that so I think that Handler is actually really good for a ritualist because your dog applies bleed. It's just that your dog can't apply. It doesn't matter though. You can spread it. Spread the bleed. Is this the lighthouse, by the way? Not even close. You're so far off. It's crazy. But lighthouse doesn't get found later though. Broken bell. There's a different bell you can ring, and I swear there's like some weird condition for it to actually have it be good loot. It's a house. I wouldn't call it a lighthouse, per se. I was so close here. I ran past it. I, I look at it, actually. And I run past it. Probably that one. No? Genius. Oh my god, we are stacked to the gills! DLC's lit. I look sick.